Okay, well, that's a first. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. All right, welcome to Big Bear Fishing. I'm your host, Nathan, aka Big Bear Fishing, or Big Bear. Um, we are going to show you how to catch a bomber um, today, and we're doing that. I have a voodoo shrimp on. He's got a soft plastic too. Ezra's using a crop trick, and that's in the candy color, saltwater candy. And then uh, he's got a Z-Man jig head on there. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to bounce them on the bottom and probably catch, I know we'll catch flounder, we'll probably catch red drum too, hopefully. But anyway, let's get to it and go down and subscribe for Let's go. Alright y'all, so one of the um, most important things when you're fishing the soft plastics, get some Procure. This is the Procure Shrimp Super Gel. That works really well. And then what you do is you just take your lure like this. And you're going to squeeze some on there. Get it around the hook. They put slots and stuff in these. See? Get it on the ribs. And this stuff stays on really, really well. The Super Gel does. I've never used anything else. Don't get it on your hands. This stuff stays on your hands, doesn't it? <laughs> like forever. All right, and then I'm gonna put some on my scrimps. See my see right here. It's got like the little thing. I usually get it right in there because then it stays pretty well. And then I get it on the in between the little gaps and stuff right here. I mean, I usually get it right here um, where the belly of the hook is. I usually get it up in there. This stuff really, really drives them crazy. Then we're gonna um, bury our hook and then we'll be good to go. I am using the medium heavy toadfish rod and rail. This is a um, 3,000 size reel. You can get a 3,000 size or, um, I mean, you could go to a 4,000. It depends on what you're gonna be catching. But um, medium heavy, I got the two piece because I like a two piece. That way I can break it down and it fits easily in the car in case I'm going on a trip or something, like down to Florida. But this has been a great rod and reel combo. Um, just make sure you get a saltwater rated reel and rod. They are different. Um, they're made, you, you still want to rinse them off, but they're made to take the saltwater abuse. You still want to like rinse them all off and everything when you get home. Um, because the salt it literally eats everything. But um, that's what we're using for that. Um, for the line, I actually have um, 30 pound braid right here, which, I mean, for what I fish in the ocean, that's funny. I've got red drum off the same thing. And then I have 25 pound fluoro leader that I did a uni to uni knot on. Um, and then I usually have a pretty long leader because the saltwater fish see pretty well. But yeah, that's what we're rolling with. Um, that's a pretty good setup and that will catch the majority. I mean, just make sure you have a good drag on your reel and you'll catch quite a few fish out here. But let's get back to fishing. Um, I'll show you how to work the lure, this particular lure, and um, hopefully we catch one. All right, also see this. The biggest thing with saltwater, um, other than drop offs, drop offs like shallow water into um, deeper water is usually pretty good, but you want that somewhere right there. Probably a mullet. Anyway, um, you want to fish structure. Structure is really, really good for a lot of different saltwater species. All right, y'all. So see how the water is going this way? So I have a tide chart app and I, um, before I come out here to go saltwater fishing, normally I'll try to catch the tide about an hour going out, uh, uh, before it starts going out, or I'm sorry, about an hour before low tide, then I'll catch it. So right now, if you can see that water, that water is going out into the ocean, um, which means that this is going to get uh, pretty shallow in here. And that's when we're really going to start catching the fish. I'm not, not to say you can't catch them right now or um, 
during high tide because high tide the same thing but usually an hour before and during low tide and then an hour after we do really really well down here and then if you um, do catch high tide it's the same thing hour before high tide fish during high tide and then an hour after high tide they like that slack water the majority of the fish do that's when they really start feeding up but what happens is see this back here like this is a little marsh area right here those minnows that hide back up in there they have to come out during low tide so then that's when the predatory fish go hey this is gonna be a really good time to eat and then they catch all the bait fish coming out all right y'all so as far as technique goes you're gonna toss her out there and then just let it sink to the bottom sometimes your hit will come did you get a hit Sometimes your hit's gonna come when it's just sitting there. They'll see it fall and then they'll hit it, especially if you're fishing around the structure. But you're gonna um, just kind of pop it up, make it look like a shrimp or a minnow. Is it? Did you get hit right at your legs? <clears throat> I'm coming. <laughs> so you just used the technique that Ezra was just using. All right, just tire it up. Big one, huh? But it hit right in front of you? It was right there. Yeah. Keep pressure on it. Wonder if that's what spooked off there. Just fight it. Nice catch. Yeah. Hear that? All right, y'all. That is a good flounder that Ezra caught. Get a picture, and then we're gonna show you the release. All right, y'all. So. That was a really good flounder. Ezra was doing exactly what we were talking about. He was bouncing that plastic off the bottom. And there it goes. <laughs> He's just sitting there. Just sitting there. All right, y'all. So that was a really prime example of... So Ezra was fishing this. This is not... Oh, right here. I think you might be good. Um, Ezra is not fishing very deep water at all it's like maybe two feet right here and that big old flounder was sitting right here Part, uh, look right there they're right there I think I just turned that's so cool look Look, they're eating right there. Yeah, those are dolphins. That is so cool. Do you see that one's fin? Wow. I've been in the kayak with them that close, but this is really, that is so cool. <laughs> that is really cool. Alright y'all, so we're going to use the scented paddler in the pearl color. Let's see if maybe the brighter color will do something.
Good size lizard fish. Yeah. Came up after it. Look at the size of this lizard fish. It's a big lizard fish. Look at the size of that thing. Also, I put some more Procure on. See if that makes a difference. Okay, well, that's a first. <laughs> that's that's how strong these um, Z-Man baits are. Look at that. No, it's still whole. It caught it on its tooth, but it was still hanging on, or it was like snagged on it. That's something there. Let me know when you're ready. Are you? I don't know, it took off. It grabbed it and took off. It's a flounder. I don't know yet. It just grabbed it when my, uh, it grabbed it when the bait was, when the bait was sinking. I'm guessing pretty big. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm guessing pretty big, cause. Oh no, it's a drum. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little red. It's a little red. Okay. Hey, elk. First red drum of the season. Look at all the spots on him. That's so pretty. He's got them on this side too. Look at that. Really, really pretty. Such a cool fish. There you go, buddy. All right, y'all. So that was awesome. So we're just gonna, we're gonna keep working. We were getting ready to go. That was my, I was like, okay, one last cast. Ezra said the same thing. And all I did was I let that sink to the bottom and I got the bump bump. And then that thing just, I mean, took off. It grabbed it and just kept swimming. So awesome. All right, y'all, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, go out, go fishing, saltwater fishing. You can pretty much do something similar to this with freshwater but um basic salt water there you go it's very easy soft plastic jig head this is that z-man jig head z-man paddlers it's basically a paddle tail it's got segments on it works really well you just kind of bounce it but um pretty much any soft plastic just come out bounce it and use procure that's one of the, the major things that you can do is put procure on it and fish structure that's pretty much it um, you have to look sometimes for structure, but you can usually find it um, or ask a friend if they have a place to fish. <laughs> but that's it for today. Um, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. It takes like five seconds for you. I just want a little minute. It takes five seconds for you and it's a huge deal for me. Um, like the video. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. Comment down below. Share the video out if you want somebody else to see it. And I will catch you all next time. Take care.